I'm gonna start off here with telling you a story about how buying a house in the wrong neighborhood almost ruined my life. And I don't take that lightly. That's literally almost ruined my life. Here's a picture of my wife and I on our, on our wedding day. My wife, Alex, I love her. She is truly amazing. And I'm telling you that by not knowing how to invest in the right neighborhoods and not how, how to buy, I bought properties in the wrong neighborhoods in the beginning, it almost prevented me from being able to marry my beautiful wife here. So the story goes that um, while Alex and I were dating, um, you know, I was certainly trying to impress her, her parents and her brother and, you know, and I had known her since high school, but you know, I, I, they, they wanted me to subscribe to a very high threshold. And so I had a lot of pressure to make sure that my wife and her parents and everybody, you know, thought I was worthy, which is, which is cool. It's really cool. So of course, in 2006, when we started JWB, you know, we're, we, we've achieved a lot to date, but in the beginning, let me, I'm not going to lie to you guys, right? It was tough in the beginning. We were struggling to figure out like what to do, like any small business in the beginning. And uh, 2006 and 2007, we know was a kind of a crazy real estate time. So um, the story goes that I had planned this whole day after dating my wife for a, a long time and getting to know her parents a little bit. I, it was a big step for me to bring them up to Jacksonville. And I planned this lunch with them and I planned this property tour of the properties that we had recently purchased. And I really, really wanted to impress them. The problem was I didn't know the right neighborhoods to be investing in. And when I was looking at what I thought the right neighborhoods were is I was only looking at the numbers. And as many of you can probably attest to when you're making decisions on properties, the numbers may tell one story, but actually seeing the neighborhoods may tell another story. So I was really fired up about the numbers. And I looked at these houses and I said, oh man, these are going to make great rental property investments because the cash flows are high and the return on investments high. I didn't even see the way the houses actually looked. <laughs> That's how naive I was. Um, but so after I planned this really nice lunch and you know, brought my entire, or her entire family up, her brother, her mother, her father, I, um, I said, let's go and take a look at the newest houses that I purchased. And the thing that I'm gonna be building here, this business that I'm gonna be building to hopefully take care and support your daughter one day. Um, and this is where I took them. <laughs> I took them to a street that looks like this. Now, this is clearly the wrong type of neighborhood to invest in. Um, the house that, the first house we ever purchased was actually this one right here. I will never forget it. And, uh, uh, it didn't look as bad as this. This is actually what it looks like today. Um, it's clearly has not gotten any better. Um, it looked almost as bad as this um, when I took them there in 2006. And as I was driving up, her mom wanted nothing to do with checking out that house. But I said, oh, no, it's fine. Come on in. So I literally walked her mom up, who's like the most elegant lady, to the door. And as I got to the door and I started to open up the key with the lockbox, I realized that there was something moving inside the house. Um, and I looked in and found out that there were bums in the house and uh, freaked my mother-in-law out for a long, long time. She wanted nothing to do with talking about real estate or rental properties or the thought of me marrying her daughter one day. So um, quite a, a terrible turn of events because I did not understand where to invest. And I hope you all will take heed to what we're going to talk about today and don't screw it up like I almost did.